The Princess and the Frog. Many years ago, in a land across the sea, a good king lived with his lovely daughters three. They were all fair and kind, from big to small, but the youngest was the one he loved most of all. One day the princess went to the place she loved best. Deep in the forest, she would sit, play, or rest. As she played with her ball, it suddenly bounced and fell. It hit a stone and a tree and dropped into the well. The princess was sad. She wanted her ball. It's my favorite ball. I threw it and tossed, and now it's fallen into the well, and it's lost. Don't cry, said the frog. I can help you with that. I will find you your ball in three seconds flat. But what will you give me, kind princess, in return? By giving you the ball, what will I earn? Whatever you want. The princess replied, gold, silver, or jewels from the whole kingdom wide. I don't want your money, the frog quickly said. There's something else that I want instead. Please take me to dinner, if that's all right. Let me sleep in your room and kiss me good night. Of course, said the princess. Whatever you say, the frog said. It's a deal, no problem at all. The princess was so happy, she had her ball again. She started to play with it right there and then. She went back to the castle as the sun slowly set, and what she'd promised the frog, she was quick to forget. Although he called after her, "You promised! Please wait!" She ran to the castle and shut the big gate. The following night. As it got late, the king and his daughters all sat and ate. They suddenly heard a voice from the door. Remember your promise from the day before. The princess opened the door, and what did she see? The frog standing in a puddle, wet as can be. The frog was all yucky. She didn't like him at all. So what if he'd helped her rescue her ball? She closed the door shut, and went back to her meal, and tried to forget about the frog and their deal. The king said, "Who was that? Why are you so pale?" She stuttered and stammered, but told him the tale. He said, "My dear girl, now don't you weep." But a promise you made is a promise you must keep. The princess brought the frog to sit by her plate. They had ice cream and soup, as together they ate. The frog yawned. Gone are my hunger and thirst. Let's go to sleep now. I'm so full I could burst. The princess looked sad, and with a face full of gloom. She climbed up the stairs and took the frog to her room. She turned and said good night. And as she said this, the frog said, "Hey, you promised. Where is my kiss?" Oh well, she thought, but she didn't speak. She shut her eyes tight and kissed him on the cheek. The room suddenly filled with a very thick fog. A handsome prince appeared in the place of the frog. Thank you, my princess. Your kiss broke the spell that turned me into the frog you met by the well. My one true love, so fair and so fine. Will you marry me? Will you be mine? The princess agreed, and they lived ever since in a big castle. 
fit for a princess and prince. Now everybody knows what the princess realized. Always keep your promises, for you may be surprised. The end. Hmm.